Hi, I'm Chris Vaccaro and I'll be teaching the Introduction to Food Photography workshop here at the New England School of Photography. So today we see a lot of photography, food photography done with uh, smartphones, iPhones, and this class will really uh, push you beyond that kind of photography to a more polished, finished, commercial image of what we see in the magazines. So in this workshop we'll start with simple, effective lighting techniques that are really easy to work with and give us great impact right off the bat. We'll learn really basic lighting in the beginning. With that simple lighting, we'll be able to create really interesting images. Yeah, predetermining the concept and the lighting ahead of time and your design of your shot. We'll touch a little bit on food styling, but try to really use uh, food that's already uh, visually interesting. So some of the other things that we'll do to give you a really good introduction into the food photography business is we'll have food stylists come in and actually work with you for a class and kind of really show you what they do and how to work together with them. Um, we also will go to a photography studio and an actual working photo studio and get to see what that part of the industry is about. So it gives you a really good well-rounded uh, vision of what the industry is currently and what it takes to really do food photography at that level. So by the end of the workshop, you'll have a really good understanding of, of the business as a whole, but also where you want to fit into the business. Um, whether it's being a travel food photographer, editorial um, magazine photographer, or in the studio as a studio food photographer. Um, and potentially even becoming a food stylist. So I think that's the biggest thing you'll take away from this is really you know, a beginning understanding of how the industry works and where you want to fit into it, or where you best fit into it for your comfort zone. And, you know, it's fun. We have a lot of fun and, you know, get to eat good food sometimes, and depending on what you bring in. So today we see food photography everywhere. You know, every magazine has food in it. Um, so, you know, I think learning to understand more how to conceptualize an image and, and put together an image as opposed to finding an image is helpful and how to light that image to make it um, you know really stand out. Even the stuff that you see in the magazine really has a lot more thought and technique put into it so it's just good to learn that aspect of it. So if you're really interested in learning more about food photography consider enrolling in my Intro to Food Photography workshop here at the New England School of Photography. Hope to see you soon. Thank you.